Hey everybody, this is just a short story of how the Lord made this message oh so clear for me today. So I'm sitting across from a guy in MoneyGram today and the service rep says, what's your relationship to this person? I said, friend and brother in Christ. The guy across from me says, oh, good answer. I said, thanks, you must be a Christian. He said, yes. And then I had to ask a question we have to ask often here in the Philippines. I said, Catholic or Christian? He said, Roman Catholic, but it's the same Jesus. I said, well, sort of, but not really. The Catholic Church teaches purgatory, correct? He said, yes. I said, well, that's a different Jesus. The Jesus I believe in paid for all of mankind's sins once and for all on the cross. And when Jesus said, it is finished, it was. The Catholic Church is technically saying, thanks for your sacrifice, Jesus, but you made a mistake. It's not finished yet. We still have to add our suffering to your sacrifice, and then it will be finished. I said, that's not the same Jesus, is it? He said, no, that makes sense. I explained that Jesus told us people would come and preach another Jesus and that we shouldn't listen to them. The Mormons believe Jesus is the spirit brother of Satan and that he is only one God of many gods. The Jehovah's Witnesses believe that Jesus and the Archangel Michael are the same. Islam believes Jesus is only a prophet of God and that Muhammad is superior. And the Catholic Church is believing in a Jesus that alone does not have the power to save us from our sins. And we went on to talk about some other things that he said also made a lot of sense. Now, are there some people in the Catholic Church that are truly saved? I'm sure there are, but God will not allow them to stay. Some will even say that God wants them to stay there to help others, but that's not true. God says in 2 Corinthians six seventeen, Therefore come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Touch no unclean thing and I will receive you. And in Revelation eighteen four, Then I heard another voice from heaven say, Come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in her sins or contract any of her plagues. God's not going to save you from something and then tell you to remain in it. He's not going to save an alcoholic and then tell him to keep on drinking so they can preach to others, or save someone from an unholy belief system and then tell them to keep practicing unholy rituals to help others. We need to love our Catholic friends and tell them about the real Jesus that paid for all of our sins and that only he could because he was perfect and sinless that we are saved by grace through faith and not of works so that nobody can boast. If someone doesn't believe that Christ alone paid for the price of our sin and that we have to add anything to his sacrifice, then it's a different Jesus and therefore a Jesus that cannot save.